The Wright brothers made the first sustained, controlled, powered, heavier-than-air manned flight in North Carolina on December 17, 1903. In a plane that looked as if it would never fly, but it did, here are some more strange planes that actually flew. The Italian Caproni CA-60 of 1921 was a flying boat that was served as a prototype for a 100-passenger transatlantic plane. It has eight engines, nine winds and a pontoon on each side to give it stability. On the second flight over Italian Lake from its altitude of 60 feet, it crashed on into the water. Fortunately, the pilot survived, but not the plane. The Goodyear Inflato plane project started way back in 1931 when they all developed an all-rubber plane using the same material as they used in their airships. Goodyear believed that an Inflato plane could be dropped in airmen behind enemy lines who could pump it up and fly home. The military was not impressed with a plane that could be shot down with a well-aimed bow and arrow. The Hiller X-18 was an experimental cargo transport aircraft designed in 1959 to be the first test bed for tilt wing. And Vistol, vertical short takeoff and landing technology, a number of problems plagued the X-18, including being susceptible and to wind gusts when the wing rotated. And since the turboprop engines were not cross-linked, a failure in one engine could mean aircraft crashing. The McDonald XF-85 was designed to fit the belly of a Comfort B-36 bomber. It would be deployed in mid-flight as required to repel the bomber from the enemies and redock of the used bomber using a retractable nose hook. However, two problems emerged. The aircraft's performance was inferior to jet fighters. It would have to be facing combat and redocking received you. It was not as efficient as it was hoped. The European Airbus A300-600 Super Transporter, or Beluga, first flown in 1994, is a version of the standard A300-600 wide-body airliner modified to carry aircraft parts and oversized cargo. The fleet primary task is to carry Airbus components from the four countries in which they are made to their final assembly locations and they do this about 60 times per week. But the British produced the weirdest plane ever flew and it was really successful. The Harrier is a vertical takeoff and landing VTOL plane or jump jet, first built by Hawker Siddeley in Britain and later in America. The Harrier can therefore hover like a helicopter, fly sideways, backwards, or just stop in mid-air. But this is made possible due to rotating its source nozzles. The first took the air in the 1960s and is still in service today, 50 years later. A strange plane that turned out to be a winner. Back to the studio.